I.O., you know the diodes, they are pretty useful. We want our circuit to have a reverse polarity protection, we add a diode. But we also know that diodes are trash, mainly for one reason, their voltage drop. This diode has a voltage drop of 0.8 volt, and if you're working at 100 volt, well, that's okay, I guess. But if you're working at 5 volt, you are left with only 4.2 volt. That's garbage. So we invented the Schottky diodes that have a lower voltage drop. But even most of those diodes can go down only at 0.4 volt, which can still be pretty bad. To solve this voltage drop problem, there are on the market those ideal diode modules. But before testing it and see how those works, please subscribe to my channel so that I can grow up hopefully. Back to our module, you can see that we have on the silk screen the diode symbol so that we can recognize the anode and cathode. And now let's plug it in into the breadboard. And first we test the reverse polarity feature. As you can see it works, and now what about the voltage drop? Oh, that's amazing, just a bunch of millivolt. This low voltage drop will lead to more efficient designs. See, when we apply some current to our real diodes, the dissipated power is the V forward times the current. But for our ideal diodes, how does the ideal diode even work? Well, as you can see, we have three components. A ceramic capacitor, a MOSFET, and this is an LM74610, which is an ideal diode controller, which basically tells the MOSFET when to turn on or off. And it does this by controlling the gate of the MOSFET using the charge pump circuit. And the voltage drop will be the RDS on times the current, whereas the total power dissipated by this serial diode is the RDS on of the MOSFET times the current squared. Using a MOSFET leads also to big current capabilities, depending on the MOSFET you choose. Or you can just buy pre-made ones. Keep in mind that when you see some crazy current values you probably won't get it at all. But if you are designing reverse polarity protection circuits, you may want to consider using an ideal diode controller. Okay guys, the video ends here. Hope you enjoyed, subscribe and see you next time. Bye.